Uh, a terminal model. That's uh, Novorossiysk um, uh, terminal. It's uh, it's big and multimodal, all types of cargo, and the actual thing in this particular project was that we have ships, we have trucks, and we have rails and rail cars. All these things interact. The uh, internal road network has a lot of railroad crossings, so uh, freight trains as well as passenger trains as they uh, as they travel, they um, conflict with uh, with trucks at these terminals. So that was um, that was one of the things we were interested in. Then the uh, storage, the uh, terminal storage capacities, mm, and uh, how long the ships has have to wait. Um, at the port. So actually, as you can see, queuing, delay times, um, uh, and also, uh, let's say, resources like railroad crossings were critical things in this particular model. I think I can um, launch this model live just to show you how these... Um, the animation is pretty poor. You won't see... Uh, any fancy or 3D stuff. Uh, it, it's, it's really schematic because the, the, the client was after different things. Statistics, as always. So that's a kind of schematic overview, overview of the port. Um, this is, um, again, uh, a very simplified representation of the, uh, let's say, simplified and primitive animation of the port. And you can see how many rail cars, uh, whether warehouses are working or not, etc. But the client was really after statistics. So let's say the, uh, well, you guys can read Russian, and I, I probably. <laughs> I don't need to translate. So Q lengths. Um, in all different places of the uh, of the terminal. What else? Um, how frequently the uh, railroad crossings are closed. And again, there's many of them here. Uh, Storage space utilization. Ships. Rail cars. Etc. So, uh, fairly big model inside. Pretty, you know, um, non fancy uh, interface, but that's what, you know many, uh, many real simulation pro project look like because animation is fun, but it, you know, when it's not needed, why would you build it? 